And my name is uh, Professor Noel. Um, we're here at the Star Bridge program, and we were, we had to um, create a painting. Um, experience at the bridge program, learn about African American culture and our trip to African people. Okay, so here we have um, what, like, what the media depicts about black people. The good stuff, you know, um, Oprah Winfrey, you know, Obama. Obama, rappers, models, things like that. And here we have the negative standpoint, um, stereo, stereotypes about black people. I'm not gonna go into that. Um, as you can see, this represent this can represent um, ghettos that you might see in Brooklyn, New York, and all around the United States. Now, if you flip it over, you see that this is not pretty. <laughs> um, at first, this this is what we were trying to do. We originally group we were split up into three groups, so we weren't um, we were on the same page. So what happened was that one group would do one thing in group B, and the other group would do another thing, and we just started writing what everybody else did. So this could probably represent um, the hidden truth, which is the name of this um, painting, the hidden truth behind um, what the media tries to hide. You know, um, as you can see, um, the the light painting is probably trying to cover up everything. You can see there's a little stuff that's hidden under there. You can see um, vague symbols. Um, Isn't it that uh, unity through diversity? Yes. Yeah. From, the, from the African burial yes, ground? Yes, um, when we were going to the African burial ground, there were various symbols coming up the stairwell, um, one of them being unity and diversity. What's that say? As you can see here, it says help, help in a quotation, a quotation bubble. Um, representing um, our need to um, show it, to make claim on ourselves in society. Show that we're here, that um, we, we need to we need to make ourselves visible. You know, not just to put a voice black people. Yeah, change the um. Say that again. Yeah, say that again. To put a voice to black people. To black culture. Voice to black culture. Yeah. You know, um, if. And a lot of people have very um, stereotypical viewpoints about black people that shouldn't be said. And this is most this is because of uh, how TV depicts us. Um, most people think that um, black people act and behave in a certain way, in which they don't. Um, this could represent. This is a road, and this represents. Um, to transition from being like this, you know, to being like this. Um, you know, it could also represent our journey from um, Africa to the, um, to, to, the, to the present day, because we have gone through a lot of struggle and um, hardship. <coughs> So, <clears throat> one thing I want to point out is the way these two are separated, it's like, this is kind of how, okay, like, say, like, people are advertising, like, they're trying to bring people to New York or Florida or something. This would be what they would want to show the people, what, what they would videotape and present themselves as. But they never really talk about this side of, like, the country, like, the struggles that people are going through. They have to hide the crimes and stuff, and the racism, discrimination. Like they don't really show. Like they only show like, you know, the better things that they have. Um, yeah, and um, this also shows how, when black people are in uh, the good viewpoint of America, um, for example, when Obama was running, was running for um, office, he was viewed as the mixed candidate. That's what they would call. They would never call him half black, half white. They would call him the mixed candidate. Um, and when he won, they would call him black, mm -hmm. show, um, showing how um, they weren't 
even though he was half white, they wouldn't accept him as that. Because if he would have lost, they would say a white person lost. Um, and that's a problem that's been in America, where even if you have one ounce of African American blood in you, you still consider um, black. They will never call you a Caucasian, white. Um, and as you can see, we did a, a day and night, symbolizing the contrast between the two. Slave ship, it was very, very difficult. You were forced to eat food given to animals, we refer to as cargo, which is a term given to inanimate objects. Um, when, when um, they'll often be raped, um, um, you know, discrimination, brutality against black people. Um, if you refuse, if they will often rebel, refusing. They will go hunger strikes, not eating on the ship. And what they would do is um, they, would they would chisel your teeth out and force to slap down your throat. And um, I think that is um, unreasonable and, and inhuman, as um, my friends would say. And I just want to know that this cross right here represents uh, hope and darkness. Nice. Well, thank you guys so much. Yeah, great job.